Hey Scouters, in today's video, I'm sharing with you a new training course that you may have never even heard of. Stick around. Welcome back Scouters, it's the Sespi Scouter. And if it's your first time here and you'd like to earn your YouTube Merit Badge, go ahead and click on the Merit Badge down in the corner right now. All right Scouters, like I said, I'm gonna be sharing a new training course with you. Now, it's been said that every Scout deserves a trained leader. I wholeheartedly believe in that. And I hope all you scouters out there have taken your youth protection and your leader specific training. Now as the country starts to open back up, our scouts are gearing up to get back outdoors and start having more adventures. There's never been a better time for you as a scouter to start updating your training profile. Now you may have logged on to my.scouting.org and taken some supplemental training. Safety afloat, safe swim defense, climb on safely, trek safely, but I bet you've never seen this one. It's nap on safely. That's right, today I'm gonna to share with you a whole syllabus on how you can be more efficient at taking naps at camp. Now, according to Brian on Scouting from Scouting Magazine, there are five steps and five things that you need to keep in mind in order to nap safely. Number one, nap for the right amount of time. A six minute snooze will help enhance your memory. 10 to 15 minutes can improve focus and productivity. 26 minutes, also known as the NASA nap, is ideal for resetting your system. It's said with the 26 minute NASA nap, your performance can increase 34% and alertness by 54%. Now you wanna be careful taking naps any longer than that. They say between a 45 to 60 minute nap is just gonna leave you groggy and tired because it doesn't allow you to finish a natural sleep cycle. But a 90 minute nap can boost your performance because you're actually completing a sleep cycle. Step two, nap at the right time. Between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. is the ideal time for you to put your new training into practice. Most of the time at a camp out or at summer camp, there's not much programming planned between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. So you can wake up refreshed and ready for the evening campfire program. Step number three, nap in the right setting. You need to make sure you find a nice, safe, dark, comfortable spot. If it's sunny and uncomfortable, you're never gonna get the right sleep. Hammocks are the number one recommended piece of Scout Leader napping gear. Step number four, nap with a timer. You don't wanna oversleep and get caught in that 45 to 60 minute period that might leave you groggy or miss out on the camp activities altogether. Step number five. Now this one might surprise some of you. If you're a coffee drinker, you're gonna to wanna to have a cup of coffee before you take a nap. It takes time for your body to process and put that caffeine to work. And if you're following BSA guidelines of the 26 minute NASA nap, that caffeine's gonna kick in right when you wake up. And for those of you who work well with acronyms, I've got one for you. Make sure you check your plate before you take a nap. Plate stands for physical condition, lookout, area, too deep leadership, and equipment. P, physical condition. All participants should be sufficiently tired enough to take a nap and in good enough physical condition that they can execute that nap properly. L, lookout. You need to make sure you have a lookout. I'd hate for a scout to wander back in camp and find you sawing logs and unable to help them and answer their question. A, area. Make sure you check the area and make sure that it's free from scouts so you can nap safely. T is for too deep leadership. Like we said before, we wanna make sure that there's a second adult there to keep an eye out for any scouts who may wander into camp. They have a responsibility to wake up any napping scouters so that way they're not caught off guard. E is for equipment. You need to make sure that your equipment is comfortable and in good working order so that way you can maximize your nap. Cots and hammocks are high on the recommended equipment list, as well as pillows. So remember, before you start that nap, make sure you've checked your plate. All right, Scouters, have you ever taken nap on safely training before? Leave me a comment down below which camp you were at when you took nap on safely. I first took nap on safely at Camp Fiesta Island in San Diego, California. And the following year, I became a certified nap safely instructor at Camp Matagoy. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you see when I upload a new video. If you like what I had to say here, share it with a friend. Remember, every scout deserves a trained leader. Don't forget to keep it simple and make it fun. We'll see you at the next one. 
This is the Cespi Scouter saying goodnight.